Do you believe in miracles? I do. I want to tell you a story about two boys who had faith in God. They believe that miracles can happen. Daniel was thrown in the lion's den for believing in the Lord. He knew the Lord was with him, still he could hear the lion's roar. Just when he thought all hope was gone and his faith was just a hunch, Daniel stood on his faith in God and the lions lost their lunch. body. You saw my bones being formed as I took shape in my mother's body. When I was put together there, you saw my body as it was formed. I praise you because you made me in an amazing and wonderful way. Before you had a name or opened up your eyes or anyone could recognize your face. being formed so delicate in size secluded in God's safe and hidden place with your little tiny hands and little tiny feet and little eyes that shimmer like a pearl He breathed in you song and to make it all complete he brought the masterpiece into the world you are a masterpiece a new creation he has formed and you're as soft and fresh as a snowy winter morning and I'm so glad given you to be little lamb of God. You are a masterpiece. And now you're growing up. Your life's a miracle. Every time I look 
in awe Because I see in you A reflection of me And you'll always be My little lamb from God And as your life goes on each day How I pray that you will see Just how much your life has meant to me And I'm so proud of you What else is there to say? Just be the masterpiece he created you to be Sandy, I'm fine. Hey, what's the matter? Do you want to tell me about it? It's not important. I shouldn't get my feelings hurt so easily. Oh, I'd like to hear about it. I really would. You would, really? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Um, Sean and Stu and me were playing, and then they didn't want to play with me anymore. They said that I couldn't play as good as they could. They said I was too little, so they left. And now I don't have anybody to play with. See, I told you it wasn't important. I'm just a big crybaby. Hey, now wait a minute. I don't think you're a crybaby. You don't, Miss Andy? No, I don't. And I think it's very important what you're feeling. You do? Well, it hurts when our friends do things like that. Well, I think I might feel pretty sad, too, if my best friend said they didn't want to play with me. Well, I do feel sad and lonely. Oh, I've felt like that before. But you know what, Gerbert? You are so special. I am? You were handmade by God. I was? Oh, you're a masterpiece. <laughs> What's a masterpiece? Oh, it's like a perfect painting. Well, no, wait a minute. It's more than that. It's... It's a unique, one-of-a-kind. Well, that's what you are. There's no one else like you. God loves you so much, Gerbert. And not only does he love you, he thinks you're okay. People always talk and sad and lonely. But you won't hear that kind. From me. Cause even though I too was once so lonely, now somebody's walking close to me. I think you got the idea. I'm trying. Cause we're in. We're in. This thing. This thing. Together. We're in this thing. Jesus and me We're in this thing together Jesus 
makes me cry. <laughs>
divide up into three groups and do this in a round. I'll start out and then I'll point to you when it's your turn. Are you ready? Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Group two. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. In all the world, we see the miracles of God. Tiny seeds you can hold in your hand become huge trees that can be made into wood to build houses. Birds that sing and soar in brilliant blue sky. Springtime and harvest, babies and families. The miracles of God's creation can fill us with life and joy because of God's greatest miracle, Jesus. He became like us so that we can become like Him. Does a tiny seed become a mighty tree? It's a miracle. How does a sparrow fly in the boundless sky? It's a miracle. How can peace come to the spirit that has only known life's storms? How can a world that someone's made so cold change and become warm? Baby Jesus cried and Mother Mary sighed. It's a miracle. It was the Master's plan. He'd live as God and man. It's a miracle. And the tomb just could not hold him. The stone was rolled away. Our Savior. Did you know there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about feet? There is. Well, there is. And it says that feet are beautiful when they carry the good news about Jesus. Oh, I want to have beautiful feet. There are feet that skip and play. There are feet that run away. There are feet that love a race and win or lose. There are chubby feet and small and strong feet to kick a ball. But beautiful are the feet that bring good news. There are feet that sleekly swim through the waters wearing fins. There are feet that shinny up the tallest trees. There are happy feet and sad. There are 
aching feet and mad, but beautiful are the feet that publish peace. Those are beautiful feet, beautiful feet. Beautiful. Do you have beautiful feet? Do you have beautiful feet? Feet climb mountains, feet climb stairs, some wear shoes and some go bare. There are feet of every shape and every size. But when feet rub with the news, Jesus loves me and loves you.
we're for 